Are you keeping an expectant eye on the sky? And I want to remind you, Pluto's planet 9, Eris is planet 10, so planet 9 is planet 11, and this is planet 12. Okay? There's door news, numerical arrangement. And you can't disprove something that you never found, right? Warning. This video finds me, Thor of Thor News, in a wild and wacky mood, so I might be acting a little weird. You've been warned. Party dance time. And action! Hit the button, baby. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. There's a real planet out there still to be found. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Start to see pictures, ain't you? There's something out there. Hello, how are you? Good morning, good late night, early morning, on this Triple Seven Sunday, 2018. And I am excited. It's officially Planet Nine Week at Thor News. Sometimes people are like, you should stick to weather. And I'm like, hey, you may not respect my title of Star-Lord. That doesn't really change anything. So here we are talking about outer space weather. My comic game is good. And we're talking about C-2016 R2, rotating jellyfish, magic flaming cat dragons that are gorgeous, mysterious, and sometimes dangerous, not only to mankind, but the planet itself. She's a looker for sure, man. And so, you see, planet formation theory is a hell of a drug. I'll be talking about double magnetic shockwaves and auroras. You see, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people act weird. That's how it goes in this 2018 story of fire and ice. So not only is it eclipse season again, it might be interesting comet season for the very first time in my lifetime. I mean, comet icing was interesting online, but not in the sky. I'm over at spaceweather.com. I'm talking about outer space weather because it's what I do and I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. What's up in space? You see, we are entering the solar wind strain. As predicted, Earth is entering a stream of fast-moving solar wind on January 21st. Oh, it's like now. Expect more earthquake and volcanic activity. That's a Thor News assessment. It's not necessarily a forecast, but, you know. Plus, asterisk. Asterisk. The gaseous material is flowing like a plasma from a crescent-shaped hole in the sun's atmosphere. And it can spark G1-class geomagnetic storms during the next 24 hours. Arctic sky watchers should remain alert for auroras this weekend on this Triple Seven Sunday. Also, if that wasn't enough to tickle your scientific fancy, double magnetic shock sparks bright auroras. On Friday, January 19th, Aurora tour guide Sarah Skinner of Abisko, Sweden, kept an expectant eye on the sky. Are you keeping an expectant eye on the sky? We should, because it's been fascinating, interesting, cool. Majestic and magnificent lately. And you might be one of those people who are like, Bro, the bad guys are chemtrail in the sky. And I'm like, Bro, only God can judge. And I'm pretty sure they're doing it for solar radiation management. Because I don't know if you heard, but at Thor News, I've been saying for five years now, the sun is freaking out. Earth weather freaks out. And people freak out. So now you're freaking out on me about chemtrails in the sky. I'm explaining to you. Why they're doing it? I know, is some pregnant? Is it a maunderer minimum? Will I ever learn how to say that properly? Is the son having a baby? Is the son a phoenix egg? Is the son a dragon? We don't really know shit about the son, man. Like, that is the truth. And if we do, that information is locked tightly in a corporate vault somewhere. Because we're still stuck on oil. It's like 1880. And I don't know what the fuck having to rock and roll. Asterisk. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Double magnetic shock sparks bright auroras. This scientific and adventurous lady was keeping an expected eye out in the sky because she knew that a solar wind stream was approaching Earth. A space weather kids is legit. I can't use legit too much because I'm too legit. Too legit to quit. I told our guests that a display might begin soon, she says. What we saw, however, was way beyond what I expected. What we saw, however, was way beyond what I expected. A crazy vibrant aurora boomed 
into action, turning everything around us green. Man, these, these auroras are wild. It's almost like a giant crack in the sky. So this is like the aurora now. It's lit. So yeah, we'll keep an eye out on the weather in the sky, because it's been weird lately. Rotating jellyfish, man. Look at that. Look at that tail. All right. That is the nucleus. This is one of my favorite nerd arguments. Sometimes that's all profession is, is arguing over what is the comet. Like when I say a comet, like a comet, what is it, 2016? K2 is as big as Jupiter. People are like, no, it's not. I'm like, yeah, it is. But you have the nucleus, and then you have the coma, and you have the tail. Sometimes you have an anti-tail. You can have multiple tails. That's story for a different time. But it's all the comet. It's like you're a person. It's the head and the shoulders and the legs and the arms. It's all the same thing. So if it's as big as Jupiter, it's as big as Jupiter. You can't, you can't just pick the nucleus. I'm not saying the nucleus is as big as Jupiter. Do, do you even understand words and scientific definitions? Maybe you, you should get yourself a calculator. Try and be good at math or something. Wait, what? Okay, it's supposed to be a short video. What have you done to me? What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Hey, is this satellite a space junk entry? I don't even know. All I know is now I'm looking at the sky expectantly. It's an aurora. Taken by Barbara Lane. On November 10th, 2017, Tromos Tromso. Yep. We should throw some GoPros into the LaGrange 2 orbit. Who am I kidding myself? We can't even turn the lights back on in Puerto Rico. All right. Second half is dead. I have to wait. I love you. You guys are great. You guys are fantastic. You guys are super. The comments want to watch. For sure. Come R2-D2. Come R2. R2-Tay. Come R2-Tay. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay.